I'm trying to be very careful so I don't dot my face for the video because of course like when I'm being watched, right? <laughs> That's what you do. I'm going to dot a little on my bottom lashes because that's how I like it. I got it. Oh, look. See? I just said that and then it happened up here. My eyelash. I look too high. My eyelash dotted my eye. Okay. I've got so much product on here, but out of habit, I don't know. I just redo it <laughs> for my other eyelash. I've never done it any other way, but there's so much product on this brush, I might not have to. I might need to play with that. This is very pretty. It's really extending out my eyelashes. I have no idea what music, if you can hear my music, I don't know what's playing right now. I just got like the top hits or something playing from the radio on. It's not my personal preference right now, but. It's on. Okay, so what I do, some of you might do an eyelash curler before putting on mascara and that's totally cool. I don't because my my lashes are very thin and they manipulate where I want them to go so I kind of just curl them with my finger afterwards. But I started putting on two coats of mascara um, a year or two ago and found that it's awesome because after I do one eye then the other, this one's slightly dry but not completely and when I add more onto it, it makes my lashes thicker. So I love that look. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. If I don't have time, sometimes I just do the outer corner. Just really makes them stand out a little more. Yeah, they they get a little thicker because a little more product goes on top of the first coat of product. So I always do that. Okay, so I think I actually saw one little eyelash trying to stick down, so I'm going to stick it to the other guys. Here we go. So what I do at this point is I just kind of take my finger and curl them up. I don't know, do you, do you guys... Are you able to do that with your eyelashes? I don't know any different. I just, I just have my eyelashes. All I know is it's not hard to like curl them up a little. Especially with this mascara because there's just like so much product that is applied in on the brush onto your eyelashes. And so it's like super easy for me to dot them. Okay, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Side view. Pretty mascara. That again was the 3D effect. Okay. Almost done. Next is blush. All right. So I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush. And this blush is 02 Fresh Peach. I've been loving this one. I'm going to do a oval motion about right here on my cheek. If you have done contouring, which I don't have my contouring stick yet, um, your contour would go right here and shade in this area. Your blush would go right on top and then later we're going to add in a highlight right on top of the blush. So that's how that would go in that sequence. I don't have my contouring stick yet. It comes on Saturday. I'm excited for that. This is such a cute color. Goodness, I love it. Do the other side. Again, the contour color would go right here, blended in. Your blush generally in this area. 
and then your highlight right on top. Really cute. Okay, I'm gonna check both sides and make sure that I am pretty even. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. Nice little glow. Fresh looking face. Okay, next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you highlighting. You can use um, the highlighter, the lightest color in our three-in-one highlighting kit. And um, the lightest color in that would be a really great highlighter. Also the terracotta highlighting powder. Um, I cannot wait, that one's coming on Saturday, so I can't wait for that to come. So basically a highlighter color is just like a, a lighter color. Um, this is what I'm gonna do first. I'm just gonna dot the inner corner of my, on top of my eyelid, just to make it pop a little bit more and catch the light, okay? Really pretty. I do that like with any eyeshadow color that I happen to be wearing that day. I just kind of grab the inside because I just love it popping on my on my eyes. Okay, and then I can even do right in the corner there a little bit. It'll catch the light. And diffuse it. And then I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. This is just slightly shimmery. So it this creates the glowy look. I like a matte foundation. I like to feel covered and dry, but then I add the glow. Right where we put um, the concealer before, right here, just adding that little bit of shimmer and glow. So here, down my nose, tip of my nose, I'll do on my Cupid's bow. I have a really um, thin lip right here, but um, I'll add lipstick in just a minute. But um, the Cupid's bow is another part where the sun, when it naturally hits you, it just kinda, everything glows kind of in this T zone. I think it's really pretty. I love having that dewy look. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of highlighter and put it right on like the very highest part of my um, cheekbone, kind of extending from the corner of my eye down to about, oh, I'd say like the middle of my eye, the pupil. And I just kind of go in gentle, long like oval motions. Both sides. Sometimes I'll put a little bit on the outer corners as well, like my brow bone, to connect into when my highlighter is starting right there. Okay, I love that. Starting to get just like that beautiful highlight, a little bit of shimmer, everything's blending in. Highlighting is like my favorite part because it's just so, it's just such a novelty to me. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I love that, having a youthful looking face, beautiful face, highlighting in any light. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips now. I have got the 203, liner 203. It's kind of a neutral color. Because I've gotten glam everywhere else, I'm going to go ahead and make my lips glam as well. So that is the Lip Liner 203. I really like it as a neutral. And then I'm going to use the lipstick that is caramel. Uh, this is the one that um, is just super neutral, so pretty. I, I loved it from the first day that I put it on. I'm going to show you what this one is. This is a... Um, Matte lipstick, number 23, that is caramel.
And the lipsticks are so, so creamy. They feel so good. Some lipsticks have been um, kind of dryish or just like you can feel them. They feel weird. Mm. This one feels just moisturizing and creamy. Great natural neutral color. Works for a lot of people. So what I do to make my lips glamorous is I take my concealer and I put a little bit on my hand and I add the concealer to the inner part of both lips. You'll kind of see how I do it here. And then I just blend it in. This is glam because it catches the lighting again and it makes your lip look a little more pouty, a little more 3D. I don't have a lot of top lip and so you might have a little more to work with. I just get it right in the center there. Gorgeous. I love it. What do you think? You guys love it? You loving it? I like to have a little gloss on top. This one's very, very sheer. If I had a, I need to get a clear one, solid clear one, but this one's gonna work in the moment. Okay, and I'm done. That is like full on getting ready. Tips and tricks if you have pictures, if you wanna look your best, if you're going to church, if you're going on a date. Um, those are my tips for you. Thanks for joining me. Bye.